Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, a very warm welcome to the Barony Hall. It's a magnificent and fitting venue for this special day, a day, I have to say, which some of you have been waiting for for two years. Two years ago, COVID-19 pandemic changed all of our lives and it had a profound effect in the university, changing the way we work, the way we teach and learn, and of course, preventing us from celebrating your graduation in person. We've worked hard over the last 24 months to keep our Strathclyde community safe while continuing to deliver a high quality education and student experience. And I've been hugely impressed by how our staff and students have responded and adapted. Now, with positive indications we're coming out of the worst of the pandemic and with protection measures eased, we're delighted to be able to welcome you back in person to today's ceremony. In a moment, we will commence our special ceremony where our graduates will come up here onto the stage where they will be capped, which is an ancient public rite of passage and mark of achievement and a sign that you are part of a proud tradition stretching back to the Enlightenment when Strathclyde was founded. Once the ceremony is finished, you will be invited to join us at the reception in our new learning and teaching building just up the hill here in Rotten Row Gardens. But before we begin, let me just say this to you. Please savor this moment. It's been a while coming. And to the families, friends, and supporters here, don't be shy in showing your appreciation for our graduates. Don't rush the stage or anything, but show your appreciation and do enjoy the ceremony. I now declare this ceremony formally open. I would now like to invite Professor Claire McDermott to present you with our grad to, our, to you our graduates. My Lord and Chancellor, in the name of the University and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Law and History, Eleanor Rose Daly. In Law and Politics and International Relations, Leah Nicole Mitchell. In Law and Psychology, Millie Simone John Pierre. In Law and Spanish with International Study, Gemma Haggerty. <laughs> Hannah MacDonald. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Craig Alexander. Brian James Barclay. Erin Maria Bain. Ashley Jane Bell. Heather Brooks. Kathleen Bruce. <laughs> Chloe Frances Caldwell. <laughs> Onya Grace Cole. <laughs> Daniel Cormack.
Ashley Crawford. Kate Davis. Daisy Meg Doherty. Kirsten Doran. Megan Douglas. Connor Dugan. Erin Taylor Elliott. Chloe Jane Fawcett. Stephen John Ferry. Madeline Gill. David Campbell Goodfellow. Neve Hughes. <laughs> Megan Kane. <laughs> Mariam Kayani. <laughs> Corey John Lowadi. Erin Mackenzie. <laughs> Natasha Carly Martin. <laughs> Stella Louise Martin. <laughs> Kayla Murray. Jack Charles O'Neill. <laughs> Ross Mitchell Peddy. <laughs> Rachel Pollock. <laughs> Jennifer Purcell. Jennifer Quigley. <laughs> Joanna Christine Ray. <laughs> Neil Smith. <laughs> Monica Ibiemi Thomas. Olivia Turley. Erin Walker Buchanan. Stacey Webster. Christopher David Wheeler. Ailey Jean Withers. <laughs> Kirsty Rebecca Barron. <laughs> Ainsley Maria Bennett.
Ava Elizabeth Cadenhead. Rachel Margaret Canavan. Ainsley Patterson Clark. Gregor Robert Coburn. Daniel Cowie. Nicole Cox. Ashling Xavier Crossan. Laura Dewar. Catherine Jane Fagan. Lewis David Folds, <laughs> Caitlin Fraser, <laughs> Eva Margaret Fraser, <laughs> George Cameron Freeman. Owen Grant, Andrew Grant, Connor Greenan, Sophie Caitlin Gregg. Morgan Halpin MacDonald. <laughs> Brogan Hamilton. <laughs> Chloe Herd. <laughs> Victoria Hodges. Finley Jack Hope. <laughs> Rebecca Simpson Horton. <laughs> Gillian Sheena Irving. Gabriel Patrick Keelty. <laughs> Rebecca Louise King. <laughs> Justine Ling. <laughs> Katie MacDonald. Lynn MacDonald. <laughs> Kirsty Fiona McIver. <laughs> Alistair McPhee. <laughs> Mercedes Amber Marshall. Cameron Matheson. Adam McElroy.
Erin McGrain. <laughs> Carrie Elizabeth McLean. <laughs> Shelby McQuaid. <laughs> Jody Murphy. Ellen Louise O'Neill. <laughs> Lauren Beth Porter. <laughs> Erin Quinn. <laughs> Fiona Russis. Zoe Samaras. <laughs> Taylor Rose Sheeran. <laughs> Shannon Murray Sinclair. <laughs> Holly Marion Janet Stevenson. Daniel David Timothy. <laughs> Megan Jane Tyler. <laughs> Brogan Louise Varney. <laughs> Gemma Louise Weir. Samantha Alana Bethany Wilson. <laughs> Claudia Zeman. <laughs> Demi Allen. <laughs> Katie Ann McFarlane. Roisin McChesney. <laughs> Shannon Louise McGee. <laughs> Lauren Louise Murray. <laughs> James Kenneth Peebles. Margaret Bissett. <laughs> Lauren Carr. <laughs> Kiara Foster. <laughs> Catherine Ann Kilpatrick. Christopher King. <laughs> Chloe Margaret Lacey. <laughs> Roisin Lally. <laughs> Gemma Louise McBride. Lauren Elizabeth McIntyre. <laughs> Lauren, 
Judith Tilly Raskin. Emma Ram Sangri. Jennifer Ethne Shearer. Lisa Marie Sykes. Christy Ann Wishart. Clinical, Zoe Law. Ailsa Robertson Murray. Cara Toll. Sophie Thorburn. James Jackson Burns. Francesca Natalia Pozzo. In English law, Musa Khalil Abdullah Al Kunji. Paramvir Kaur Dillon. Maria Kapai. <laughs> Hassan Abid Khan. <laughs> Oluwadara Dari. <laughs> Musib Navid. In law with a modern language, Iona Maria Freckleton. <laughs> Ivy Hill. <laughs> Ramsey Kershaw. Declan Thomas Hart McLean. <laughs> Alana Martine McPhee. <laughs> Brona Evelyn Miller. Rudy Michael McLaughlin Peacock. <laughs> Angela Louise Walker. <laughs> Amina Nadia Buswara. Kieran Robert Crossley. <laughs> Courtney Fenton. <laughs> Ashling Tara Griffin. Bethany Alexandra Nesbitt. <laughs> In Scots and English law, Iman Rashid Ali Al Makbali. <laughs> J. 
Jolene Afua Ampia. Julie Bankier. <laughs> Jodie Alexandra Barnes Cameron. <laughs> Jonathan Carey. <laughs> Andrew Corbett. Lauren Stormont Dauber, <laughs> Leah Gaffney, <laughs> Sahar Gilani, <laughs> Anna Stewart Gillespie. Tabinda Gulfraz. <laughs> Kirsten Amy Harkness. <laughs> Emma Kelly. <laughs> Lisa Kennedy. Usama Hassan Khan. <laughs> Millie Mae Kirkham. <laughs> Rachel Sarah Luce. <laughs> Adam Scott Luce. Rebecca Lyle. <laughs> Taylor Kirsty Mahindru. <laughs> Patrick Joseph McKenna. Nikki Moisoglu. <laughs> Decla Elizabeth O'Connor. <laughs> Laura Victoria Quinn. Ewan Robertson. <laughs> Liam Paul Runciman. <laughs> Alexander Scott Vinogradov Wooters. Lucy Vizocci. <laughs> Irini Yemenitsis. <laughs> Isla Baxter. Amy Lucy Beck. <laughs> Elisa Maria Braceland. <laughs> Michael Carlin.
Emilia Lily Corner. Erin Maria Connor, <laughs> Ewan Crombie, yeah. Ben William Fowler, <laughs> Luca Stefano Giovanazzi. Rachel Catherine Guthrie. <laughs> Annie Henderson. <laughs> Veronica Jaworska. <laughs> Antonia Karamanli. Zafiro Karamanli, <laughs> Elisa Khan, <laughs> Julia Maria Lazowska, <laughs> Kirsty Ann McCauley. Emily McFadgen, <laughs> Kerry McGrory, <laughs> Daniel Christian McKenna, <laughs> Abdul Aziz Munj. Cameron Murdoch, <laughs> Heather Proven, <laughs> Sharez Rashid, <laughs> David John Rubens. Neve Margaret Rice, <laughs> Eleanor Francis Sutherland, <laughs> Mardi Millie Sarah Thompson. Lauren McLaughlin, <laughs> Desislava Asanova, <laughs> Heidi Barsoom. Gagandeep Kaur Dillon. <laughs> Chloe Ramsey. <laughs> Ailey Reid. <laughs> Antonia Elizabeth Zydek. In Scots and English Law Clinical, Alana Rose Rooney. <laughs> Mary
Mary Jane Sharp. <laughs> Beth Cowan. <laughs> Mary Queen de Colongon. <laughs> Alexander Donnelly. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Jennifer Kerr. Well, let me uh, once again welcome you to this special congregation. It's an unusual one because you've already received your degrees and graduated. We were determined to offer all of our graduates <coughs> the chance to come back here when the opportunity arose to celebrate your achievements in front of families, friends and supporters because it's undoubtedly the highlight in our academic calendar and we couldn't let it go unacknowledged. We wrote to more than 8,500 of you and we'll be welcoming around half that number back to Glasgow from across Scotland, across the UK and indeed across the world. And I might say to you, the class of 2021 are particularly special in having faced the unique challenges brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. You've faced disruption to the way you've had to learn, to socialise, to sit for exams and you've gone out in the world at a time of unprecedented challenges. But in face of this, you've shown courage, determination, resilience and adaptability. And as you forge your new careers, the university's values of being ambitious, bold, innovative, collaborative and people-oriented will stand you all in good stead. Now, in a short while, you'll be invited to join an, an academic procession when we leave the hall. <coughs> That's a symbol that you're no longer students but now full members of the academic community at Strathclyde, one that numbers over 175,000 people across the world. And you're going to follow in the footsteps of many graduates before, including illustrious alumni such as David Livingston, John Logie Baird, Dame Elish Angiolini, Baroness Helen Little, Baroness Annabelle Goldie, and Sir Tom Hunter. Your friends, family and tutors here with you today are immensely proud of what you've achieved and will have confidence in and continue to support you in your future success. Let's all show our appreciation with a collective round of applause for our alumni. I also know that uh, throughout your academic careers, you will all have had the support and encouragement of your families, friends, supporters, and teachers. Many of them are here today, and I'm sure they're extremely grateful, you're extremely grateful for their support. So let's take this opportunity to show our appreciation and gratitude with another round of applause. Now, similarly, all of our graduates have been helped by our wonderful staff who've worked hard to provide you with a first-class education, an outstanding student experience, and for whom your success is their reward. So graduates, please, could you just show your appreciation to them now? Thank you.
Now, your success and our success as a university is due to the efforts of our staff who are delivering our vision of Strathclyde as a leading international technological university that's socially progressive and makes a positive difference to the lives of its students, to society, and to the world. Now, many of you are already pursuing the careers of further studies you've set your sights on, <clears throat> and I hope the last year or two have been successful and productive for you. We must acknowledge that you've graduated from university at a time when the world needs all the knowledge, skills, passion and commitment it can muster to tackle some huge issues. This includes the climate emergency we're facing. As COP26, hosted in Glasgow, showed us, urgent action is required and global collaboration and inventiveness is the key to creating and implement the solutions to this crisis. Our university is working across all of our faculties and disciplines to address the technological, scientific, economic, educational and societal challenges we face to reduce our impact on the planet that sustains us. Realising these solutions forms the essence of Strathclyde's mission to make the world better educated, more prosperous, healthy, fair and secure and to deliver against the UN Sustainable Development Goals. If the COVID-19 pandemic has shown us anything, it's a central and crucial role that science and universities play in helping us overcome challenges. It was science working with researchers at university that delivered vaccines for the COVID-19 in record time. And it's science and education that will help us address our other challenges too. Now, the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences has many achievements to be proud of. Dr. Chris McCorkendale Law being appointed as an advisor to the Scottish Parliament's Constitution, Europe, External Affairs and Culture Committee. Louise Welsh, author and alumna of Strathclyde's creative writing course, has published her sixth novel, The Second Cut, and a sequel to her debut novel, The Cutting Room. Psychology and politics alumna Louise Pringle was appointed East Renfrewshire's Council's Director of Business Operations and Partnerships. And Professor Alan Miller Law was announced as Chair of a National Collaborative established to inform Scotland's National Mission on Drugs Deaths. The group has been formed to ensure that the experience and rights of people affected by drugs are reflected in all aspects of the mission. Now, when former US President Barack Obama visited our campus in November last year, during his visit to COP26. His message to the waiting crowds was simple. As he paused on the steps of our learning and teaching building just up there, he shouted, get active. It's a rallying call that many of us can relate to and one that encapsulates the can-do attitude of our Strathclyde community. Strathclyde is an institution where freedom of thought is encouraged and valued an institution exemplified by tolerance and inclusivity, one which seeks to play a significant role in shaping the world we live in through our teaching, research, and through you, our graduates. Now, we hope you use the knowledge and wisdom you've gained at Strathclyde to play your part in bringing people together, to find common ground in our greater humanity, and to work together to build a brighter future demonstrating Strathclyde's socially progressive values and ethos of tolerance, pluralism, and a desire to make a positive difference. You know, as Strathclyde graduates, you can champion knowledge, you can address social injustice, and you can question inappropriate behaviors and actions, including by those in authority, to help shape a better world. We hope that you're going to continue to stay in touch with us to let us know how you get on and to continue to contribute to Strathclyde. Because it's through the involvement of our, of our alumni that we provide a first-class education and student experience for you. So we now ask you to think of those who are going to follow you. But hey, for now, it's time to celebrate your achievements with your friends and loved ones. So on behalf of the University of Strathclyde, congratulations again to each and every one of you, and I wish you all great success in the future. Thank you.
I now formally declare this congregation closed. I would like to invite you to join the academic procession and I would ask family and friends to remain in the hall until the procession has left the building and then join us in the learning and teaching building at the top of the hill for refreshments. Please be upstanding.